Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Donnie, and today's video we'll be covering e to the x equal to 1 minus x. And we're solving for x. So if you try to attempt this problem by isolating x, you reach a point where you're going to have x in both the base and the exponent. So that's why we have to apply something new called the Lambert W function, which allows us to solve these types of problems where we have an x in the base and an exponent. So here's the rule for Lambert's W function. So I'll be explaining it. So over here, you have a y term. Y could be represented by an x, x squared. It could be anything, okay? But the important thing is we must have a, a y at the bottom and a y at the top and an e in the middle. Once we acquire in this format, then we can apply this thing called Lambert's W function. We get a singular y, it simplifies to, and we get a w. And the w is basically the Lambert's W function, and we have a k which represents the branch number. And w, you can think of it as a ln log, log type, okay? So that's basically it. So basically our main goal is to get into this form. We have the y at the bottom, e in the middle, and y at the top. Okay, that's our main goal. So let's get into that format. So we're going to move the x on the other side. We're going to raise e on both sides of the equation to get this e in the middle over here. Okay, then we, and then we have to apply the exponent addition rule to separate this e to the x over here and x over here. So basically we have to apply it. We apply the addition exponent rule. Once we acquire this formula, then we can apply Lambert's W function. And the reason why is because you have an e to the x, which is our y term, and we e in the middle, and we have another e to the x. So that means we can apply Lambert's W. So we're going to apply Lambert's W. We can simply apply to a singular e to the x. Then we apply ln on both sides of the equation. The e goes away. And then we're left off in this. And I'll be discussing the branch number. So this is our equation from the previous section. Uh, we know that e to the 1 is equal to 2.7182. Now let's look at the graph, the Lambert W. So this uh, orange yellow line over here is the branch, the branch W zero. Okay. This green line over here that goes at the bottom is the branch W of negative one. Okay. Our value of 2.7182 is this pink line over here. And the X asymptote is this blue line over here, which is negative 0 0.368. Now there's three cases. So the first case, is our value bigger than zero? Yes, it is. That means we have one real solution in branch W of zero, okay? So be in this branch, as you can see, it intersects the orange and the pink line. So that's our solution. So now let's say if we had case two. Case two, if is our value between the asymptote and zero, and in our scenario, no, it's not. So we're not gonna have case two. And case three, if case one and case two are not satisfied, then we have infinitely complex solutions. In our scenario, we have case one. So now we, by looking at the graph, we get the value one. Then we do uh, ln of one, which ln of one is zero. And that's the answer to this problem. For practice, solve this equation for x and post your solution in the comment section of this video. So that's it for this video. So please leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, great day.